the important bit is the valve really. Is valve made of paper? Yeah. It goes on the way. That's just a piece of paper. Well, how's it folded and everything? It looks rather intricate. Well, it doesn't need to be folded that intricately, really, but like this will work. This is another one. So it's just got a fold and a hole in it for the wire. to go The reason it's got that fold in it is to stop the wire going, doing that, yeah, because the paper tends to get sucked down over that hole too tight and then it can't push it round. There's a crank. So that's just hooked through a straw or something? Yeah, that means something, that's right. Here's a... This one, you can see it going round inside. Where? So that hook is 
the hooked around the wire below. The wire that's going horizontally. No, no it isn't. All it, all it, it only ever pushes. So it's pushing on the bottom of that straw. Why do you need the straw in there? Why can't you just because have the wire in there? Because the straw connects the connects that to the crank. Oh, so there's not a wire running horizontally through the bottom of that. It's just hooked. No, it, it, it runs... Both ends are just hooked to that straw. No, that, there's, that wire runs all the way through the straw and out this end. So but why do you need the straw? To connect the connect that wire to that wire. Why can't they just hook onto straight onto each other wire? Because it doesn't pull, it pushes. Right, okay. And also, um, what the straw does, it spreads the push. The load. So it stops that wire bending. Right, okay. And the other thing that straw does is it positions the hook at just the right point along the wire. Right. So that holds it in place as well. Yeah. Thank you, Dokes. Good. Uh, you can get two out of one orange juice box. And the first thing you do is cut it in half, which is about there. And it's got to be a box with flat sides because the valve needs a flat side to work. So they're the same size, just need one of them. Trim the sides. And then you need to fold down just the top corner. So that stops the top bending around like that. Choose the flattest side, look at all the sides, choose one, that's about the flattest side. I'll cut a hole for the valve. Well that wants to be about 15mm diameter, about half an inch or so. Just above that you make a hole for the crank. It's just got to have the wire going through it. And you make another hole opposite it on the other side. So that's about there. At the same level then? Same level, yep. Yeah. Then you have to make a crank. So this is garden wire. This is the most expensive part of the whole thing. And how much, what length do you need? You need about, say, that much, roughly. Let's try that. So about 30 centimetres. It's a bit, little bit more than that, a tiny bit more, but something of that order, yeah. And you straighten it. 
which is quite a difficult thing to do. And then you bend it in the middle, roughly, say about there. And then you need a plastic bead. another bend. So why do you need the bead? The, right, the bead stops the... I don't think you do Does need it. stop it, really. resistance? It stops that... it sort of holds that in position and stops that rubbing against that. Yeah, okay. So... Right, so you need another bend right there, and that is so that you've now you've got that. Uh, See, and then you have to make the one more bend which is the crank inside the box and that wants to be at least a centimetre kind of up from the bead yeah sort of about that much so you end up with that 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 bit will be inside the box right okay so it goes like So which end are you going from? The one with the two holes or one hole? The one hole. And if you look inside... That, if I look inside, I can go through and then you can push the crank so it's inside the box like that. And then that's made the crank. So you want the bend inside? That's right, yes. And that bend has to be at least a centimetre. But not Why do you have a bend inside? That makes the crank, so that when the thing pushes down, it makes the thing go round. See? When I push down, it's like a bicycle crank, when I push down on it. Right, okay. Yeah. So the next thing you need is a bit of straw. that. That is that length there, roughly. So, let's try and find a straw. So you want the straw to be about so long? Yeah. And... Then you want the piece of wire that pushes down on the straw, so you need another bit of wire. Not as long as the other bit. It's about that long, so that's about six inches. Straighten it out. Make a hook at one end. Sort of like that. And you need two holes in the middle of the straw. And you have to hook the wire in one and out the other. In one. So, so it can do that. Okay. And the other thing you need is a, another bend in it so that you can put a straw, drinking straw spacer on it.
So you end up with that. And you have to thread that over the over the crank. So you have to pull the crank back out and yeah, and thread that over and put it back. Right. So now you can you can make the crank go round by pushing down on this. And if you get the timing just right, it goes round and round and round. Okay. Right. Next thing is you've got to put the this top bit, which I suppose you call the piston, on it. And you need a spacer to push the piston pushes against. So the piston. This thing, this cardboard, when the air gets sucked out of the box, will push down on that straw. Right. Like that. Okay. So this is threaded through. How would you make that top bit, though? Well, I wasn't going to go into that. It's you use a juice box as a former, and you. You wrap a bit of polythene around it. Like you cut a strip of polythene and you wrap it round, cut it the right width, which is about seven centimetres, and sellotape it. Okay. And then you cut a bit of card, stiff card, so that you get that square. So it's strengthened. Yeah, and then you assemble it over the end of a intact juice box. Okay. It's a bit like wrapping a parcel. Okay. That is quite difficult to make, but it's not, you know, it's not that fiddly or anything. So then that goes over there. So, when I put a ru rubber band on it, you don't really need it, but... Does it not need to be airtight? Well, it is airtight because the it's air's so being to get sucked on. out, not... Um, like, I'll just show you. I'll make a hole for the straw. Where are you putting the straw? On a side which hasn't got any holes in it yet? That's it, a side which is as yet unused. Mm. Use this one. All right, and if I cover up the valve hole with my finger, you can see that that, that polythene sleeve won't leak. Okay. A teeny bit, but I don't think it's leaking through the sleeve. However, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to put a rubber band on it. And that just holds it in place. So when the valve hole is covered up, that, that gets 
gets sucked down, but if the valve holds open, it doesn't. It okay. only does a little bit. So the only thing left to do is put a valve on it. Like so. so now the paper with a fold. Paper with a fold, yes. Oh, look, here's another one. And then what you do is you have to bend this this end bit down into a hook so it, it can push that round as it goes round. Okay. And you have to make that hook in the same direction as the this bit at the other end. As the bend in the other end? Yeah, yeah the bend it has to be in that direction, exactly. So I'm going to look at the Why? other end. Why? Because otherwise the valve will close and open at the wrong time. Right. Right, so that's that's made the bend. The, this wire's way too long. So I'm going to cut a bit off it. And now I have to bend it down so that it can push against that fold in the paper. Mm -hmm. Not so much that it actually rubs against the box. Okay. So that, that's rubbing against the box, so that's a bit too far. So I'll bend it back a touch so it's, it's got a little bit of play in it now. Yeah. Right, now the other thing, we have to put a weight on the end of this. So somewhere I've got some blue tack. And where it's gone. Too heavy, actually. Penny weighs three grams, but so blue tack's ideal. Yeah, because you can adjust the weight. But otherwise, a penny. Otherwise, if you're desperate, use a penny here. Yeah. Does it matter how long this bit is? No, no, it shall. You don't want it poking you in the eye. So here we are, touching the penny. So now hopefully that should work. Let's give it a try. That should go out of the way. So um should go that way as well. <laughs> 